Hello Aquarius, we're going to be seeing what's coming up for you in the month of January. I wanted to let you know that I'm still doing the 2015 personal forecast readings. You can, um, if you want more information about it, you can check it out on my website. But um, if you want to order it, please do email me. I'm going to put my email down below because the payment um, part of my um, site for that reading in particular is not working. So I've had to sort of remove it for the time being temporarily. And so if you want that reading, you can just email me and you'll get it that way. So, um, yes, yeah, so we're going to be shuffling. I'm shuffling up the cards. I'm using the Hanson Roberts deck. I will be showing you the cards because people have been having a go at me for not showing the cards um, in my readings, um, my monthly readings. So I'm going to show, it, show all the cards to you in the beginning and then I'm going to talk through the cards. So yeah, and just like always, I'm going to be starting off with your professional life, then your personal life, and then your spiritual life. And I'm going to pull an energy oracle card to serve as your advice card for the month of January 2015. So Aquarius, your first card for your professional life is the King of Cups, paired with the Three of Wands. Then for those of you that are in relationships, is the Strength card reversed with the Seven of Swords. Uh, for those of you that are single, is the Ten of Swords with the Ace of Pentacles. And then your spiritual cards are the Ace of Cups paired with the Ten of Pentacles. Mm, very interesting cards. Okay, Aquarius. When I look at your work, what I'm seeing for you guys is that there's a development when it comes to your work. This development could be because of somebody else that has come to you. I almost feel like for some people when I look at these cards, it could be someone that wants you that wants you to work for them or someone that wants to work with you on a work endeavor and that person makes an offer to you. Like this person says you know, come over to this place where I am. Maybe we can work together. Maybe we can do something together. Maybe we can bring our skills together. And you might be considering it. January might not be the month that you actually go for it, but January will be the month that you consider. Should I go over and take this opportunity from this other person? Should we, will, will we be able to work together? I feel like January is a month where you can explore greater horizons it's an optimistic time for you you want to be able to to develop whatever you wherever you are right now you want to develop it further you want to move on to the next thing but this is not going to be the month where you move into the next thing but it's going to be the month where you are making the plans where you're almost um Sometimes with this card that's shown up, some people sort of say it is when, you know, you're waiting for your ship to come in. For some of you guys, it can present like that. It's like you're waiting for something either to come through to you or you you might be waiting on something. Or again, you might be considering something that could potentially be a good opportunity, but still you're contemplating it. You're not sure about it. Um, what I would say is if this, if the cards, if, if it comes up in your life that somebody makes an opportunity to you, I feel like this is somebody that is trustworthy though. And it is somebody that, um, you and that person will, could, could potentially work together pretty well. Um, so, so that's positive. Um. This also might be a month where you want to follow your desires. Follow um, something that you may have been thinking of. 
you may have created this vision in your mind of what it is that you want and then January is a month where you're thinking how do I get it how do I go after that thing how do I gain that thing but I feel like this sense of optimism can definitely is, is a good optimism that can get the ball rolling for you um, when it comes to this year but don't lose your momentum that's what I would say because what these cards are showing is that you're not really moving so what I would say is you know don't just don't just have all these plans and be optimistic and then just let it die down and then you don't do anything with it you know because that could happen <laughs> looking at these cards so definitely maintain that focus maintain that direction maintain that optimism to really make something manifest because this can be a fast energy it can be an inspiring energy but then you don't move and that's not what we want we want to move we want to manifest we want to get things <laughs> so yes um that's what's going on with your work situation and and stuff but then when it comes to your um yeah, when it comes to your relationships, this is a it's a bit challenging. What I, what I'm seeing here is that if you're in a relationship, you and your partner might be finding it difficult for the two of you to settle your differences. I feel like the two of you might be too you might be too much just looking at things from your own perspective like your partner is looking at things from their perspective you're looking at things from your perspective and you're finding it hard to really see eye to eye with one another and to really be able to sort of be understanding of one another and it's almost like you might be really just really focused and concerned about your own needs and your own wants and your own desires but the thing is is that you have to really consider your partner's wants and needs and desires too and they should also be considering yours but i feel like that is what might be lacking this month or this might present as an issue this month so the card that showed up can also mean being a bit sneaky and being a bit deceptive being a bit underhanded and i would say that's not a good look for a relationship aquarius if stuff like this is going on in the relationship i would definitely say that there has to be there has to be more transparency there has to be a greater level of trust to in the relationship because i feel like then for some of you guys trust might be something that isn't really um being felt between the two of you and that can really affect the nature of the relationship so um it what needs to be embraced at this time is to, is a more compassionate energy a more understanding energy and also again being able to trust one another and um and be more tender with each other this can be a time maybe where the relationship turns a bit cold and it could be a bit harsh like it can be harsh words as well being exchanged so um and and losing sort of that that warmth and sensitivity towards each other but that's sort of what you have to work to get back this month in January if you want things to get better in relationship wise what I see for those of you that aren't in relationships is that this can be a time where if you've been sick and tired of being <laughs> um, single if you've just been like oh my god I haven't been able to find anyone things are just crappy I just can't stand it why well, am I still single this is going to hell this <laughs> everything because I feel like for someone that might be what you're feeling and I don't mean to like make light of it because it's not it's not like that at all I'm getting that for somebody like they might be actually really serious seriously feeling this way and I feel like it might even be like really feeling alone as well um that's that's me I, I try I, like when things sort of get too serious i can be quite light-hearted about things that's just my little coping mechanism but um i am being like 
serious that I, I feel like for some of you guys, like you've just been really been tired of being single and you probably are feeling quite lonely and might eat you might not even be feeling very optimistic when it comes to relationships and all this other stuff but it's saying that something can come through for you something positive can come through for you when it comes to a relationship situation or it can be something that just gives you a new sense of, of stability or feeling like um like like something is blossoming something something can develop between you and someone else so if you have been feeling all of that kind of not so positive stuff be optimistic in January because someone can come through in January that changes that energy and so then things becomes lighter things becomes better now all of a sudden um, now all of a sudden you don't have all these things going on in your mind and it's like you can see sort of the manifestation coming through of something that could have a potential future so yes that's good for the singles when it comes to your spirituality cards it's to do with Hmm. I'm kind of seeing that for when it comes to your spirituality cards, I feel like what is going to connect you to spirit is being able to connect not only emotionally, but being able to find deeper connections with others really spend January developing deeper connection with other people I feel like there could be even a deepening connection for some of you guys with family or for some of you guys there might even be a new addition to your family like um, it from looking at the cards I wouldn't necessarily say um, I wouldn't necessarily say that you know the new addition would be you know your child per se but it could be a case of just a, a you know new child coming into the family but um, what I am seeing is that I, I definitely feel that if whenever things get difficult go to your parents for support that's what i'm kind of feeling go to your parents for support go to you know some someone that is wise as an elder that i feel like you can get comfort from that your family support system that's what i'm kind of getting for for you guys and what i would say on a spiritual level i think that spiritually actually january can be a good um month for you I kind of get this sense of, um, you know, with the Ace of Cups showing up, especially showing up in your spirituality section, it's almost like the the cup in the tarot, um, it represents, it can represent spirituality in terms of um, d developing that kind of internal connection with spirit, a personal relationship with spirit. Because, you know, everything, you know, like, like one of the um, astrologers I watch her on YouTube, she, she says, you know, everything is relationship. And when you think about it, it's true, everything is relationship. Even when it comes to our spirituality, it's about our relationship with the divine, our relationship with our higher self. And I feel like you can actually be really connected with that higher self energy, with that internal spiritual energy. And um, and I almost feel like even spiritually for some of you guys, you're going to be feeling, um, what's the right word? I want to use the right word. I feel almost like it can be a case of spiritual abundance, spiritual wealth 
that's what wants to really come out is spiritual wealth that can be gained in the month of January. And and it's and it's almost like with this is I get this feeling of you you can be protected this month. You can be protected. You can you 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 have the support from the universe this month when it comes to any kind of like spiritual enlightenment, spiritual awakening that can take place for you in January. So yes, it may be interesting spiritual cards for you, Aquarius. So Maybe like spiritual wealth, spiritual gain. So, really nice cards. So for you, your advice card is, oop, this one right here, which is victory. Victory. I think that this card could be even applying to those of you that are single. You might be victorious in finding someone. For those of you that are coupled, you have to take some advice. <laughs> you have to take the advice in the cards because that that was the cards that showed up were a bit challenging. Um, but I feel like if you direct your energy in the right place, in the right way, you can be victorious this month. Some of you, the victory could even be in that maybe you can see where you want to go or you can see what you want to manifest if it, when it comes to your work situation. Even when it comes to the employment cards, for some of you that are unemployed, you might be able to see some gain, something that you can get, something that might be attainable for you. You don't have it yet, but you can see it. And that could be that victory. The victory that you have the optimism to be able to see what it is that you want and see that it's tangible for you. You know, so it's not just a desire, it's not just a, a wish. So, when it comes to a spirituality cards, I can definitely see a sense of, of victory in that. Because there is this greater sense of, of like I said, like an abundance, like a spiritual, almost like a wealth. And I feel like this this is this is coming from really seeing the the, the joy and appreciation for life. Appreciation for people that are in your life. And I think even for those of you that are sing that are, that were in relationships that were challenging, I would say that that might be something that you have to take on board when it comes to your partner. You know, having maybe a, a greater sense of appreciation for them, so that you and and your partner can connect better with one another. But victory can be apparent for you. It can be something that comes for you in really all aspects of life that you're going through or any challenges that you're going through but it just means that like I feel that like you have the right mindset but sometimes we even though we can you know like Oprah says sometimes we know better but we don't do better and I feel like that's kind of what might be coming for you so that might be your something that you're dealing with this this month Aquarius it's like you know how you can get to the victory in January in different aspects of life but it's asking you are you gonna do it are you going to do what can make you victorious in those areas of, of life? Because you have the ability to manifest it. So, there you go. I'll see you guys. Take care. Bye.